All right, be prepared. I got the camcorder audio here. Anyway, hello everybody. Welcome back to another video. So, I had the dashing idea to go ahead and see if I could get operator powers by the fact of me being a female in Minecraft. Not that I'm a female in real life, but I have a female Minecraft skin that looks like my account. So it's a girl skin. I thought that it would be a great idea to go ahead and go onto servers and see if I could get server operator just by being a girl and seeing if I could, you know, wrangle in some of the server owners even though I'm not. It was just a weird idea that I thought of having, seeing if people were actually trustworthy enough to, or if people thought that I was trustworthy enough to be given a role just because I had tits and an ass. So, yeah. That didn't actually end up happening. I did get operator for a different reason, but you're gonna have to watch this and find out. All right, who's our first taker? Got it. Hmm, we aim at an off. Ooh, we offer an RPG roguelike survival expanding on the default theme right now, walking a bunch of paywall. Interesting. Four out of four hundred twenty. Try to crash. Free creative will be given twenty-four hour challenge to crash my <laughs> server host and auto. That's all right. That's. Is, I don't. All right. That's actually kind of uh, interesting. Shifted Earth. No one on there. Um. Ooh. Five out of thirty. Geometric MC. Futuristic theme server. Working hard every day to give our players the best experience. Futuristic theme. Hmm, intriguing. I think I just might have to do it. it. Just sounds so ridiculous enough in my work. It it's pulled me in. I'm I'm taken by surprise. I'm hooked. Okay, um <laughs> All right. wait. Oh these wait, are these the to the same people? Um Oh wait. Hold on. Okay, those are staff members. Alright. Looking good, looking good. Maybe I can pull something out of this. Um, you can kill animals, but you can't pick up because World Guard is on. So that's um, pleasant. So, okay, there's a little town over here. Okay, this is a this is a cute little town. I can now fight with other players. Can I break things? I can definitely hit things, but I still can't pick it up because of the World Guard. I'm pretty sure. Um, okay. Wait. They've just yeah, they've established a little town here. It looks like uh some chest. Nope. Not for me, it's fencer. I guess I should probably say hello. It looks like there's a spider in the wheat farm. Look at that tiny wheat farm. Oh man. They don't have any Oh hey, there's one of them. Oh here's both of them. Oh, <laughs> Oh no. <laughs> oh no. Oh no, this ain't look good. I'll do it. Alright, the Discord has been loaded up. I don't know if I'm gonna be like joining a call or something. Um I have my <laughs> YouTube linked up to Discord. So I think this is like a dead giveaway that I'm like one hundred percent a dude. Oh shit. Yeah, I'll join a call. All right, <laughs> let's do this. <laughs> oh my god, this is gonna be a huge check for them. <laughs> Not a chick, but I'm a dude. Oh. Yo, hey, what's up? Oh, hello. Hey. Your mic is cutting off. Oh, mine is. Yeah. Um, hold on. Um. <laughs> thought you were a girl. Oh. <laughs> Wait. Oh. I have my female skin on. Oh no. Um, yeah, I have another account that's got um <laughs> Oh. <laughs> this is a, this is um Um, yeah, the, it, it's the uh, it's the same name just with the B's, not D's. Uh, <laughs> You. Wait, oh. Uh, let me uh. Let me, let me grab that account. 
that was the girl's face. You were like, how do you know it's a girl? I was like, because they have a girl skin. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's, it's me. Just letting you know. <laughs> wow, judging people. Judging what people by their skin? By their Minecraft skin? I was just skin? assuming. Wow, assuming their gender? Oh, oh. So after a bit of talking, we actually uh, found out that I wasn't able to break any blocks or anything just because. I wasn't an operator on the server, so I thought, originally I thought the server was in development and that they didn't have any access for the newer players because, well, they're new, still not established too much yet, which I just kind of played it off and said, alright, yeah, that seems about right. But then I wondered, wait, it's on a public server list, I don't get it. So what ended up happening was the owner of the server got online? and opened up the call where we were all joining so that's where i then found out that the server wasn't really set up and i have a little bit of knowledge about server setting up over the years so i decided to use some of that knowledge into helping them so here's that clip maybe maybe i should just delete and then reinstall that could that would help if you can get it i wouldn't recommend downloading the anti-build and just using world guard instead yeah because you already have world guard so let's see there's an anti let's see okay world guard okay so what all do you think i should delete um what's the xmpp because we haven't looked in that one yet so delete the essentials yeah it looks like wait i'm back is there a way that okay no because that just opens the folder oh that's weird so yeah, I wasn't looking too hot right now. I mean, the owner of the server hired someone on Fiverr for $40 to download a bunch of plugins and set them up. However, what they did instead was grab a whole bunch of plugins and then not set them up at all. They set up a group manager and that was it. For $40, that's very lazy. They also did set up a voting crate website, but I ended up having to fix it with the owner, so... Yeah, not a very good $40 spent, but I'm not doing this for any charge, so yeah, I'm happy to do this. Control. And then type okay. in anti. Oh, oh here it is. It's just anti build. That's oh, it. Oh. All, right, all you have to do is delete that one. Oh, really? Okay. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> it's so complicated. Oh, God. <laughs> Where did it go? It's um right under essentials X. Alright, let's God, see if this worked. God, I hope this works. And it works! We got it! Really? Yeah, it works. Oh god. <laughs> oh god. There we go. Oh god, thank you. Of course. Oh god. But we ended up finding the problem in the fact that it was actually essentials anti block placing thing which is weird because originally i thought it was a world guard problem because usually there's a spawn radius and you can't break and i thought this one was just abnormally large but the warning message really didn't look any similar so i knew that something else must have been up so it did turn out to be the essentials anti-build and after we found that and got that deleted everything worked perfectly so now it was just on to getting the server set up a little bit more well that one did yeah, it just adds all the basic essentials that people would need to, like, um, um, home, set home, TPA, all that stuff. Nice. Yeah. yeah, I was trying to figure that out for the longest time a few days ago. <laughs> yeah. God. So there we go. That's... Very nice. Thank you. You're welcome. I know nothing about, like, config files or anything. <laughs> yeah <laughs> i just I know have, basic minecraft stuff uh, i used to have a um a couple of servers like a while ago it was a world faction server oh yeah and then i had a survival server that was public let's see um well maybe you would know about um a problem i'm having so i did have this voting system yep. um and i added a whole new like um a, a new a new crate Thing, you know yep. and 
so now actually maybe i can test it so let me vote real quick and i, I think i got it fixed but i might not have. anyway when you vote i wanted to give crate keys out okay. which was working before and i got the website pasted in there, i think so let me let me set up a crate really quick so the next server issue that we tackled was the fact that voting crates didn't give you the voting crate and what turned out to happen was that the person who installed the voting crate had actually deleted the original voting crate so all the information for the voting crate was still there it was just named something a little bit different but what ended up happening was they named it vote one and there was no such thing as a vote one key so I looked through the keys that were available and found out that they could create a key just in the game. So I used the mystery key as, say, a voting key. And that's the one that we used as a test for when somebody voted they would get a mystery key in return as opposed to getting nothing. Because that's originally what happened was that the player would get nothing in return for voting. But we fixed that to where the player would then get a voting key or just the mystery key. And the crates work. Yeah. After the voting key crate fiasco was established, then the owner describes what had happened and how they got scammed $40 from somebody who did jack shit to the server. Yeah, I didn't realize I'd find so many people that could, like help me for like without having to you know like hire someone like that one guy who didn't even do anything it's crazy yeah oh you had to pay actual money for him yeah so i, I found this app um it's called fiverr oh where basically, yeah which you basically <laughs> like paying anyone to do anything and i found that guy um who said he could set up my boats and he didn't even set it up at first because he forgot to paste in the commands and i told him and he came back and finally done it but only like half ass done it oh no yeah How much did but you pay him? uh just 40. he also set up some ranks too but they must have disappeared or something because i don't even see him really yeah i don't know i saw that on your lucky perms that you have like mod and admin and that's it but they all have like just bare bone commands which is just slash op yeah <laughs> yeah nice. i need to i need to add some but i'm not really familiar with like adding like ranks and stuff to people yeah i mean i can give you like a pastebin of commands that you just can add because it looks like you already have the like plates laid out all mm -hmm. you need to do is just add the commands and i can grab those for you really quick if you want them yeah sure all right let me grab those oh well, now i know how to create groups now so in that clip, we set up groups for the server, meaning we set up moderator, admin, um, head moderator. That was about all we did. And then owner role only needed a couple commands. But that's all we did for that, which was pretty simple. At the start, it was just a lot of copy and pasting. And, but we eventually found a paste bin that had all the commands that you could use for it. So we just used that and drilled that straight into the config file. And that worked out very well. So the next thing to tackle was the spawn, and I've got the clips just for those, but the main thing with the spawn was that when you drop down, you would die. So there was a major problem there, was dropping down, dying, and there was only a small hole in the center that you would drop down into water. And another thing is that mobs would spawn on there, so I knew this was a world guard issue, so... For the most part, all you really have to do if you ever run into this problem is you have to limit the mob spawning in the region, which you can just turn those off entirely. And then same with adding a no fall damage or no damage at all indication in that region, which is pretty simple also. If I could make a tutorial, I would gladly, but I don't have a server and I don't have enough money to make one. There is to add because, I mean, I don't have multiple servers set up. Right. So... I mean, I can see, like, if you were to set, like, warps somewhere, like, a warp area. Oh, yeah. And then maybe, like, uh, if you have, like, a shop or something that you want to set up, you can have one in one quadrant over there. Oh, yeah, that'd be cool. Yeah. Yeah, I think I, have, um, I think I have, um, I think I have citizens in, uh, in the plug-in, so maybe we could set up, like, a little shop. Oh, yeah, that'd be good. Yeah, that'd be pretty cool. And I need to add some kind of, um... What's it called? Um, 
you ever heard of an A8 shop? Yeah, an auction house. Yeah, yeah, kind of like where you do slash shop or slash A H, and it takes you a bunch of stuff where like people can sell stuff. Yeah, and you can auction buy houses. Them. Yeah, I need to get a, one of those that are really good, but I can't seem to find one. Did is the original one updated? Like the original auction house plugin? Uh, let me go to it real quick. Auction house, arguably one of my favorite plugins. If you don't know what auction house is, it allows you to sell the items that you don't particularly need or you know that there's a high demand for and you can sell it to players all over the server. It's just a little GUI that you can list your selling price, plops it in there, and then other players can buy it. It's an amazing plugin and if you're running a survival server or a faction server, really any server, unless it's like pure vanilla or semi, I would entirely recommend Auction House seal of approval from me and it's really easy to set up too when i revoked Zach's access and i think that's what messed up like why people couldn't place blocks and stuff yeah, and while the anti-grief yeah and all the ranks were deleted so i think he done that uh and that was the mm -hmm. dude you paid 40 dollars for no that was um just a random guy that joined he, he knew a little bit about minecraft but not as much as you were that other guy that helped me all right yeah Alright, let me message Kaylee and tell her I gotta restart. Hey, welcome back again. So yeah, they got scammed $40 for only one simple setup, and that was just the basic groups of owner and admin. They didn't even set up the default group. They didn't even do any world guard work. They didn't do any buildings. They didn't do any plugins. They helped assist in the shopping or not the shop the voting plugin but it was done half-assedly so i decided that i wasn't going to really do my original intent for the video and instead i felt incredibly bad for the server owner that i actually decided i'm going to help you you know rescue the server because right now you can't break blocks you couldn't you couldn't interact with anything, so I spent maybe three hours of my day just going over and installing a whole bunch of essentials plugins, balance plugins, which it comes with essentials, but like setting up the world border, setting up the world spawn, making sure that people can't destroy anything, making sure that there's an anti-cheat, just all this stuff so that they didn't have to worry about anything happening to the server because when you pay $40 for someone on Fiverr you expect at least some half decently good work I mean you expect decent work for 40 $40 is a lot so you expect some decent work out of them but that's the problem is that you don't know who you're working with now I'm doing this free of charge I don't care this I enjoy doing this I you don't have to pay me a single damn dime i don't care i'm just doing this out of my own heart but yeah the fact that somebody had scammed them for 40 dollars just to do that and then i come along and i just you know do a whole bunch of stuff here and i just leave no no money needed like come on like, just let this be a PSA to all of you that be sure you know who you're working with and be sure that you know you can trust them, especially on sites like Fiverr or like even Craigslist. I mean, just be careful with who you're hiring for something because eh, you could just easily get scammed. And for $40, what they had set up originally was not worth $40. So I thought it'd be a great idea to just go and help them because, you know, I'm a decent person so yeah that was uh that was the video there <laughs> didn't expect it to happen it did um yeah that's that's it so thank you all so much for watching sorry that this video didn't turn out as it intended to i mean i did get operator on a server i did get um i wouldn't say partial ownership but i did get staff on a server but it wasn't for the purpose that was intended so semi win i suppose Oh yeah, and I just want to make this a note, I actually wasn't intending to upload this video originally. This was more my decision to make this as a PSA that you cannot really trust people on Fiverr. The server owner in this case got lucky when I came along and was able to 
figure out most of the stuff but just be careful with who you're actually messaging and be sure that they know what they're doing so you don't get scammed $40 for some bullshit work but anyway that's gonna be it for today's video thank you all so much for watching leave a like if you enjoyed and I hope to see all of you in the next video goodbye everyone have a great day